Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys If you have a vehicle guys made by General Motors such as Chevy, Buick, GMC or Cadillac guys And you're wondering, okay, uh, what are the symptoms of a bad PCV valve guys? Stay with us guys and we're going to cover all that today uh, We'll explain what you can experience and how you can even think that you need a brand new engine When all you need is a little bitty device PCV valve on some things It's uh, super simple to replace on others, it's integrated in the valve cover and we're going to explain all that today but quick introduction guys, we'll have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop We do all that guys, so we can save you as much money as we can So please subscribe to our channel and like the video guys, hopefully you will find the information helpful Now, let me explain a little bit, okay, about, uh, about General Motors and PCV valve symptoms guys on that Chevy Cruze now, if you look, okay, it doesn't matter if you have four, six, eight cylinder engines, guys. The PCV valve, most of the times, it's somewhere on an upper valve cover, somewhere, guys. And looking at this vehicle, okay, you cannot find it anywhere. So, let me show you now, guys. Right here, if you look towards the back side of the cover, you can see one hose, okay. And this is, guys, the PCV hose. It usually, the PCV hose either connects to the throttle body guys okay check it out or it connects to the intake manifold now on this engine right here things are a little bit easier to show you guys this is okay the pcv right here pcv valve right here and it just goes to the intake manifold and this is the valve guys okay that little device now not every vehicle will be so easy to replace on this one is integrated in the valve cover and it's actually right here guys so there is membrane that you can replace guys but however most of the times you have to get a new valve cover if you have one that looks like that you just replace that device guys so what the pcv valve does okay quick thing when the engine runs guys it gets fuel and air, it explodes inside and pushes the pistons down. You have the piston rings, okay, that actually, uh, actually keep that compression, guys, okay, that explosion not to enter the engine. So that's called the engine compression, guys, they're created by the rings. But when that explosion happens, guys, blow by gas will make its way in the crankcase, in the lower part of the engine, past the, past the pistons. Now, that, guys, blow by gas actually travels to the valve cover because you have the old passages so everything is connected and if that blow by gas doesn't come out guys what is going to happen it's going to create enormous amount of pressure in your engine so it needs to come out somehow and how it comes out guys okay through the pcv valve in the intake manifold that way you're not polluting okay and it's uh, burning through the intake and exiting through the exhaust However, now guys, okay, it could be, okay, yeah, it could be two scenarios where a PCV valve uh, fails, guys. It could be stuck open or, st or stuck closed. If it's stuck closed now, what we are talking about? If it's stuck closed, guys, uh, the uh, engine actually will build some pressure inside. You can develop, guys, oil leaks, oil leaks, gasket leaks, or even, um, even uh, crankshaft seal leaks, guys. This is because, okay, because uh, that valve will be stuck and you will have enormous amount of pressure, okay, building in the engine. So, that guys is one of the problems. Another thing, open your, uh, your cap right here. And if you notice sludge, okay, kind of like this one, okay, check it out. But it will be even more white stuff, a lot of it. That means guys, most likely you have a bad PCV valve as well. And at some point you can develop black smoke because that pressure that's building in the engine may make its way through the rings and you will be burning oil guys black smoke will come out of the exhaust like you need a new new engine pretty much now what if the valve is stuck open that's uh, that's uh, position number two guys you will you may experience random engine misfires which are super hard to diagnose this guys is due because to a lean mixture what that means that means that if that valve is stuck open all the time, okay, the intake will be sucking extra air from the engine all the time. As a result, okay, more air means that uh, the, uh, the mixture will be lean because the engine thinks it's getting certain amount of air, so it sprays fuel for that amount of air. But if you get some, uh, some extra air, it doesn't know about, that's a lean mixture, guys. So you may get a call for lean mixture, experiencing misfires, guys. Okay, and another thing, check your hose to make sure you don't have oil quite a bit of oil in it if you have guys it means that you're just uh, it's stuck open and it's uh, taking oil from the uh, from the vapors in the valve cover guys directly in the intake manifold 
And now that can guys actually lead to hard starts okay because it can full spark plugs and it can lead to rough idle as well so those are guys most of the symptoms of a bad pcv valve hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you having that problem thank you guys for watching please subscribe to our channel for more videos and see you guys next time